Okay. So again, we will initialize the matrix here. And this resets all of your, anything that you changed in CTI will reset it. But we're not looking at this anymore. So now you will see those two buttons are your optimizer. And again, this kind of looks like on the slide, hopefully. Top, the top box are your measures, and the bottom box are all your tolerances. Notice I can scroll over on the right to get through all the tolerances. Here's the goal value, and again, that was your spec limit. So you can open up your results. And if you look here, the lower spec limit, upper spec limit, the difference is 10. And there you can see that reflection in your goal value. And same with, you know, this one is plus or minus 5 of total range of 10. That's where your goal values are coming from. So you can change those two if you want, or you can um, just accept the default and change your measurements. Again, here we have your max and min tolerances that you're able to change, lock and cost. This is the same in the, as the other part. And down at the bottom, you'll see your optimized cost. So I'm just going to click minimize cost. So this is just the model as it is. Currently, using the current values, um, we're getting a cost of $3,800. If I then use this optimizer and look at all the optimized tolerances and, and optimized measures, we can get down to um, 3000 and this is before I even optimized it all. This is just the, the model as is. So yeah, you can see the current, the current tolerances right there. OK. There we go. OK, so yeah, here you can see um, these are each of the tolerances. So this tolerance, you can make it um, cost more. Maybe instead of um, instead of casting, you're also going to add a machining process. So you can drop the tolerance limit and add more. And notice now we um, our cost is much uh, has gone to 1,800. And that was the tolerance that CPI told us we should update. So you notice it made a huge change because that was a, a huge contri contributing factor. Now if I change this tolerance, um, you can see here I'm, I'm making that one, that 1,800, if I minimize cost, notice it didn't change. And that's because this one wasn't contributing as much. So that's why it's important to run your CPI and analyzers first so you can determine which ones are going to have the most effect. And all of these, again, are you can edit and update based on um, what, what you can meet in, on the manufacturing floor. So if you can, if you find more details, find more information, and you realize you can do um, tighter tolerances, then, you know, it's going to cost you more. Um, so you, if you can loosen them, it'll cost you less. And that's just basically what we do. So I'm going to copy this optimized price. Um, so this is, we know this is the least amount we can spend on this model as it is. So now we're looking at the quality, and now I want to see, basically with that price, what kind of quality can I get? So there are all the measurements are weighted equally in this measure, and, and that's shown by the number one there. So if I paste in here the, the price from the last, um, from the cost optimizer, and maximize the quality, you can see it's using that entire budget for the optimized cost. And you can see these are the same results that I typed in from the last window. They're connected. And notice now that my quality value is a negative 159. Again, this is an arbitrary number. And it's, um, now we're going to assume we have, it only costs 2000 but let's assume we have $8,000. Notice that the quality value is dropping, getting closer to zero. And your price went way up from 2000 to 6500 uh, 6, So it's not using the full budget because the best quality it can possibly achieve, it only needs to spend 6500 
So this is kind of, um, you can roughly figure out um, how to improve each of these. And now we can go in and change all your max and min tolerances to improve the quality, because now you have this, this budget we know we can meet. So I can paste that over there. And when I maximized, notice it didn't change. It used the full budget and it got the same quality value because I didn't change anything else. Um, if I go in and I can, let's see, can change each of these max and min tolerances, and now we're, we're tightening the tolerance. So let's assume we're now going to machine this tolerance. Um, now you can see our quality got much greater, which makes sense. We're machining it now. Um, but yet our cost, um, so there you can see um, how we optimize. And you can change your quality. You can, um, now I'm assuming I only have $1,000. Notice how the quality increased a lot, meaning the quality got worse. And that's because I don't have enough money to machine things, so the quality is getting worse. Now I have unlimited money, and my quality is great. So it, it's all just um, all relative. You can try out different values and get your.